Hey guys, just waiting on my um, on my Chinese food. I'm a little hungry, so I wanted to drop in for just a second and kind of give you guys something that I really want you to think about. <clears throat> um, you know, a lot of times when we are single, um, it's very, very difficult as single people to get really frustrated by um, the fact that their status is single. It's like, oh my God, I wish I had somebody. I wish I had somebody. I wish I had somebody, right? But a lot of times, and I hate to be so blunt, but a lot of times we are single, but yet we are not eligible for a relationship. I'm going to tell you why we're not eligible for a relationship. And the number one reason we are not eligible for a relationship is because we're not even comfortable or even aware of ourselves. So how are we supposed to be eligible to be in a relationship with someone else? Now, it might sound unbelievable that I'm going to come from this angle, but you have to think about, hey, Tony, love you, sis. It may be, um, you know, very mind boggling that I'm telling you this, but we sit in the sour attitude. We sit in our sour moods. We get bitter. We get nasty to gentlemen that are approaching us. We get mad and, and bitter at gentlemen that give us a compliment that want to hold the door open for us we get an attitude right and we're like i want a relationship i want a relationship but you treat men so disrespectfully and then gentlemen that have women that are decent to them they're abusive to them but what happens hey saji but we're but but what we we say well i think i deserve a relationship why do you even remotely treat yourself well? And the reason why I want to talk about how we treat someone else is one of the profound things that's really good for relationships. But how you treat yourself is absolutely a requirement before you can get into a relationship. We teach other people how to treat and love us. Period, point blank. So if you're not treating yourself kindly, you're saying, I'm stupid, I don't do nothing right, you're constantly in your head about how you are not equipped or adequate or you fear to be successful, but you want a relationship? I am telling you right now, there are so many people that are miserable, lonely, upset, they hate that they're alone, but are you eligible to be in a relationship? We can sit here all day and say how we wish we had somebody else. We want someone else in our life. But nine times out of 10, we're not being mindful that while we are single, this is the perfect time to be really sharpening our own selves, sharpening our love for who we are, sharpening what we're here to do. Are we awakened in our life? Are we, are we creating? Let me talk about creation. Are we creating? I've created three things already this morning. Three. I, re I created three videos this morning. I've been up since five. And I've created three videos this very morning. So I don't have time or I don't have the, the grim or the sadness or the the, the desire of wanting a relationship because I'm in a wonderful relationship with myself. I don't need someone else to make me feel adequate. I don't need someone else to say, yeah, Carla, do it. You can do it. Go, Carla Nicole. You can do it. I don't need it because I make sure I inspire and am in my own ambition without having someone. I don't need someone to tell me to get up at five o'clock and be at work at six and then make sure that you get off at 2.30 so you can get your work done for your own vision. I don't have to have somebody to tell me that. I just do it on my own, naturally. But a lot of us are in this grim, sadness, sour, we're miserable, we feel like we're not enough. Well, everybody else has a relationship and I don't. And all of this is like, well, 
what are you doing to make yourself eligible to be in a relationship? What are you doing? Are you really sitting back and looking at you and really trying to figure out what is it that I need to do to sharpen myself? Because understand something, we can want a relationship all day and we can pick and choose a person or a partner in our life all day long, but understand who we pick and who we get attracted to is going to mirror who we are, period. So with that being said, we need to be making sure we are awakening the best part of ourselves while, while we are by ourselves now while we're alone and single because how do you think you're going to get a person that's going to be equivalent or even eligible to be with you there's not going to be a lot of low bum bum ass dudes that's going to try to step to me why because i'm going to intimidate them that's why I mean, just what it is. I'm constantly creating. I'm constantly busy. I'm constantly doing for me, for my products, for my stuff. So any man that's not creating, any man that's not on his mission, any man that's not driven to do what he has to do for himself is not going to find me attractive. They're not going to be moved to want to get with me because of why. Oh, she's a lot. Oh, she's up at five. Oh, I don't have to, you know. Oh, she's not going to be all about me. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm about my stuff. I'm about trying to create a life for me, for my kids, for my legacy. It's not about you. Now, if you want to be a part of my life, then that's something we'll have to discuss. But you have to understand a woman that's on her grind and constantly creating, constantly supporting other people, constantly coaching people. I mean, I might be up at three in the morning coaching a gentleman and an attractive gentleman at that. And I might be on a phone call with him while you are asleep. Are you gonna be able to handle that? So a lot of times, gentlemen might find me, oh, that's not attractive to me. You know, you got too many male friends, and I do. And I'm not giving them up because you can't handle me having a lot of male friends. That's your problem, not mine. So again, we have to get out of these ruts of thinking I have to have a relationship. I have to have a relationship. Having a relationship is wonderful. Hey, Jasper, hey, look, I have to have a relationship. No, you don't have to have a relationship. But if you so do want a relationship, first sharpen you. Because understand, you're going to attract. Get this now. I'm giving this to you for free. You're going to attract a person that looks just like you. And what that means is, if you want to be with a person that is a, a, has a high resemblance of you, you need to get on the ball of making sure you are creating, you are busy on your grind, you are not going to be a leech to someone else. Because a lot of times when people are miserable and lonely and, 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 and depressed, when they get in a relationship, that don't mean it stops. You're still miserable in your relationship and you're still depressed. So guess what? Yes, you now have a relationship, but guess what? You're still depressed and sad and, 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 and feel inadequate. I'm just telling you. Hey, Tom. I'm wonderful, love. I'm just trying to give y'all the real hard truths, man. At the end of the day, we can love wanting a relationship. That's a beautiful thing. Yes, to have a life partner, someone that's on the grind with you and you're grinding with them, that's a beautiful thing. But that's not everything. Because I'm going to tell you what, you can get in a relationship with some damn body and they will be a headache to your life. And you're like, why God did I get involved with this person? They don't even get my grind. They don't even get my understanding of who I am. So you have to first, while you're single, while you're by yourself, while you're doing what you need to do for you, and that should be what you're doing while you're in a single state or a single relationship status. You should be focusing on you, awakening your gifts. I have courses out here right now and I'm waiting to see how many people are really enrolling in the courses. I have awakening your gifts. Who wants to awaken their gift? I'm gonna wait. You wanna awaken your gift, let's get busy on it. It's nothing, understand that, it's nothing. You have to be busy about your grind. 
So awakening your gifts, right? Shaking the alone hate. There's a lot of people mad they're alone. Why I got to be alone? I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I want to have a relationship. So you're miserable? You're not even eligible being miserable. So you can bring that misery to somebody else. Don't nobody want to be with you and you're miserable all the time. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants to even take that on. It's not even about financial. And I know, I know a lot of brothers be like, I'm not trying to bring a woman on and she's a financial burden. Well, what about a mental burden? Some of these women out here, listen, they will burden you to try to take care of them to the point where you're like, I can't even take care of my damn self because I'm so busy trying to take care of her and me. Okay, that's fine. But listen, men and women, you guys that are needy as hell, you got to have your man take care of you and do this and do that. That's a lot to burden someone else with. You have to sit back and look at you and say, hold on a minute. Am I needy? Am I too much? Am I doing the most? Yes, I am. I'm being really too much for someone else because I'm not doing my own work for me. I don't want a relationship for a man. I got to take care of him. I don't want that kind of relationship at all. Like Tawan said, at all. I don't want that. If I have a relationship, let's be a team. Let's be in partnership. Let's both be grinding at the same time. But like I said, Dudes that aren't on their own grind, they don't want nothing to do with me. I don't know how many gentlemen have said, oh my God, you intimidate me. Why? Oh, you always working. You always grinding. Well, I'm sorry I intimidate you, but what are you doing for you? We aren't going to be here forever. Do you know that the clock is ticking right now? You think tomorrow's promised? <laughs> I tell my kids all the time, you better get busy. Tomorrow's not promised. But we got to have a relationship though, right? We got to have a relationship. But we're not busy on focusing on our own worth and value. What are we bringing to the table for someone to enjoy? Not for someone to be burdened by. What are we bringing to the table? My dad wrote me that letter at 17. He asked me to not burden no man with being a leech, being on his back, sucking him dry. What the hell? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He would always tell me, don't be on the planet taking up space. Until this day, every waking moment I'm up, every waking moment I'm up, I'm thinking about how can I create? What can I do? What can I do to change the planet? You guys see Solo all the time. You see me wearing Solo. You hear me talk about Solo. You see me doing my products for Solo. Solo was in my mind first. Shine on loving oneself. Why did I create that? For us single people that are miserable. I don't want to be alone. Oh my God, I don't want to die alone. Die alone? Hell, you were born alone. Unless you came in as a triplet or a twin, you died. You, you were born alone. Dying alone is not the worst problem on the planet, loves. Dying alone is not the worst thing. Let me tell you what. Living this life and being forgotten, that is the worst thing that can happen. Dying alone is not the worst thing that can happen to you. But we have to get off of this thinking that we have to have a relationship. We have to have a relationship. No, you do not have to have a relationship. Understand something. Like I said, you got to do the work. You got to make sure that you are pressing on and being mindful of who you are because you are going to meet your match. The person that you so want in your life is going to show up, but they're going to show up in the version of who you are and they're going to match you. Is that attractive? Only you can answer that. I know in certain phases of my life, if somebody would have met me at where I was at that time, I wasn't, I wasn't attractive at all. No, thank you. I wouldn't have wanted me, if that makes sense. So we got to step back and look. Well, how am I looking? Not how am I looking, but how am I looking on the inside? Is my soul radiant? Do I shine? Am I blossoming? Am I, am I, am I showing myself to be amazing? I mean, really, we got to sit down and really look at ourselves. Are we who we need to be or where we need to be for that matter? 
If not, then we need to change some things up, man. I mean, at the end of the day, it's beautiful to have a relationship. It's beautiful. But it's not the only thing that we need to be striving to acquire. We need to be striving to acquire our purpose. What are we here to do? I'm constantly creating people. I'm up all, all hours of the night and day. I'm up at five, sometimes six, sometimes seven. I'm up at different hours and I'm writing. I'm creating, I'm doing, I'm doing videos. Man, I'm doing a lot. I'm creating all the time. And then I'm helping other people. That's what I do. Out of the love, man, for people creating. It's important. You know, our whole purpose on the planet is to become the best version of ourselves, period. If we're not at our best state of who we need to be, and we're not exuding excellence in who we are, we're going to attract who looks just like we are. Trust me. And sometimes when we see that, it may not be so good. Yeah, Tom, it might be good for you, but some people that are not in their full essence it's not so good. And then they're wondering, why do I keep meeting these type of people? Why do I keep meeting these kind of people? Why do I keep meeting these kind of men? Why are these men so attracted to me? You better start doing your homework on yourself. Why are men attracted to you? You got to sit back and say, mm, yeah, I need to change some things about me. Because apparently they think that they can approach me. And they're not even someone I would really want to be with like that we have to change how we exude who we are we have to be mindful of what we want in life we have to think all the time and be cautious of what we allow in our life also and always remember you have to shine on loving oneself no matter what you can't be in a relationship if you're not doing that small most important thing which is loving you. If you're not loving you, well, you're going to get a hold to someone that won't know how to love you either. And then you're going to wonder, why do I keep getting in these relationships? Well, we teach people not only how to love us, I mean to know us and to be in our life, but we also teach them how to treat us. But we first have to model how we want to be treated to ourselves first. Share this video, man. Somebody needs to hear it. And if you don't want to share it, hey, tag somebody that needs to hear it. It's very important. I'm on my lunch. Got to head back to work. But listen, I love you guys. I want you guys to stay focused on making sure you exude perfection. And if you can't get to perfection, strive for it anyway. It doesn't matter. We have to start striving for perfection. Even though we may not get it right there to where we want to. But let's damn it get as close as we can. I mean, it's just that simple. Life is too short, man. Like I said, tomorrow's not promised. So we need to be focusing on how we can truly, truly examine our life. Think of how we can really improve it. And then be honest with ourselves as to what it will take for someone to be in our life and really make a difference in our life. All right? So I'm out of here. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a good day.